creator of the universe, the universe itself as a conscious entity, whatever it is, to dismiss it just because you're trying to decipher the writings of uh, fairly comparatively unsophisticated people, because we're talking about people from many, many thousands of years ago without access to the information we have today. And then you're also dealing with the fact that many of these stories were of an oral tradition for over a thousand years before they were ever written down. So to just dismiss that as superstition and silliness without any curiosity about the root of these things, why they resonate with people, and to just say that this is superstitious nonsense that people choose to believe in and this reductionist perspective of the known reality that we currently exist in. It's it's a foolish way of interfacing with something, and it's shocking when a obviously brilliant man has a foolish way of interfacing with a very complex situation. Well, it's especially odd in his case because he's also the formulator of the idea of meme, 